Twynham School is an 11 to 18 school with just over 1,500 students here. Um, very mixed kind of school, it's what you might call a normal comprehensive school, but it's also a school which is very highly regarded in the community and we're also a high performing school. We've developed the idea of the options online process. So instead of students and their parents receiving a booklet telling them about the course, um, what they get is an online site um, which is secure by login for parents and students. They can log into the site look at different options in terms of their pathways. They also look into individual subjects. Hi there. I'm here to introduce the options process now that you are halfway through your year nine in school. And it's now the time to think about what you might be doing in years 10 and 11. I think it was like a lot better because I've got an older brother that come, came to the school and he said choosing options were like so much more difficult because you're just told, yeah, it's good, yeah, it's fun, no, it's hard, whatever. But with that online you get a lot more like feedback because if you recognise someone in the video you can go up to them and talk to them about it and my brother had none of that and he says you got it easy. <laughs> Who is your character? Why are they in the situation they're in? What is their background? What has their life been like? My mum like was looking at it and she was like yeah I think you are better off doing drama and that's kind of like what finalised my decision when my mum saw everything on the gateway. The gateway that we've got in school has been revolutionary really in helping me and my tutor team to be able to support our young people in school. What this does is it takes away all of that paperwork, all of that time consuming activity so that I can then identify where a student may need support, where we may need to celebrate that success and it's much much easier, much more instant and it means that that child gets whatever they need far more quickly and the parents feel more supported in the process. Well, with the new gateway, um, the parents are a lot more involved in your grades and looking back and forth over what you need to do. Instead of before, you get one report or one parent's evening a year. Now they can look at it whenever they want. If I'm doing well, I'll share it with them. If I'm not, I maybe make a joke about it. Your silence, I was above target last year. Yeah, and you dropped back. Well, yeah, but I can't have another subject. Sacrificed. <laughs> oh, okay. Like Tactical. Uh, as opposed to having to go to a parent's evenings, you know, once a term, um, the child can sit down and go through it with me. Um, and show me how he's getting on and where he's got to work, particularly at the moment coming up to A-levels, you know, the topic the subjects that he's got to focus on um, and just sort of talk through different ways that he can, you know, apply himself really. You know, we were out last night at a gig and he was showing me his grades on his iPhone. <laughs> What we actually found is that their increased usage of the gateway led to them getting the highest GCSE results in their area of all the school. So it does seem that using the, the revision gateways as a revision tool has had a big impact already. Why didn't you just put a vector into Google? I think it's filming. Hello. I was always say oh my god. When we started this off with our learning gateways and started putting resources on there, the incredibly high take-up rate from the students their feedback was tremendous in terms of they really enjoyed the resources being there and they could log on in school or at home and get exactly what they wanted when they wanted it.